lined up for you in the program this afternoon. And at this hour, we're keeping a keen eye on the two-day conference on universal health care that is being held at uh, Makwedi County, that is in the Ukambani region. Our reporter Cecilia Okesha is on standby there. We're getting reports that President Uru Kinyata might attend the closing uh, ceremony there. Also, I'm going to link up with the reporter Willy Lusige, who's on standby for us in Kakamega County and is going to tell us more on the lecturer strike. Just yesterday, the lecturers have already told students that this might take at least a year before they iron out their issues with the government. Also, Chief Justice David Maraga has reacted to the statement that was issued earlier by Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi that cartels have taken over the judiciary. I'm going to link up with the reporter Shadrach Mitty, who is at our INM studios. Once again, this is News Desk. News Desk. My name is Joseph Ibrahim. Let me begin with our top story this afternoon. And uh, let me take you to Makweni, where Cecilia Okesho is keeping an eye on the two-day conference on universal health care organized by Vision 2030 Secretariat. Now, the conference is being held in Makweni County. Now, Cecilia, good afternoon. What is going on there? And we are getting reports that President Uru Kinata is scheduled to close the conference there. Thank you, Yusuf Ibrahim. Indeed, this is Makwini County, day two of this uh, Universal Health Coverage Conference. And uh, I can confirm that uh, being one o'clock, we were expecting, according to the program, President Uhuru Kenyatta and CS for Health, Cecily Karioki, were to come and officially close this two-day conference. But honestly, indications... They don't show that these people might appear here anytime. The president, uh, President Uru Kenyatta and CS for Health, Cecily Karioki, no indications that they might be coming to close officially this function. And indeed, I can also mention, Yusuf, uh, that the governors also are expected here. For example, Josphat Nanok, that is the, the chairman for Council of Governors, was also expected here to make his remarks. Uh, but so far, we have not seen him. We have only seen like Kipia governor around who has accompanied uh, the Makweni governor Kifuta Kibwana. But remember, this is an initiative uh, that has been seen by many to be an, a global idea, and especially as far as universal healthcare uh, in the country is concerned. But with me here, I am joined by Ouma Oluga, who we are going to speak to, because here discussion is universal healthcare, universal healthcare. But let's get to understand, can this be achieved or it's too much talk and little action? Uh, welcome. Uh, Dr. Umoluga, that is the Secretary General for KMPDU. We have seen this discussion ongoing, uh, but again, the question to many has been uh, can we achieve this universal health care, and especially as you compare this to human resource that you guys have uh, recently alluded to, and even uh, throwing about the issue of the Cuban doctors coming to the country. I don't know, what is your general take on this? Yeah, universal health care is achievable, um, and uh, there are countries that have done it. Uh, no country in the world is 100% um, perfect. Health care is uh, uh, complex, but uh, it's achievable. That's the first thing, and I think uh, the president has uh, put the country on the right path in terms of political commitment. Uh, what now we need to do is to stop talking and to start doing. I think we are doing too much talking and spending a lot of money in conferences. Um, it's also okay for people to build consensus and all of that. But I think sometimes what uh, these conferences uh, do is that everyone is coming with their own uh, objectives and silos. Uh, so whichever organization is coming with the, the things that they still used to do, and then they are changing the names and just branding it universal health coverage, which I don't think is going to get as far. Uh, for example, uh, you, when you want to achieve universal health coverage, then you have to be honest to the system, the way it is right now, and then to uh, get the system the way it is to where you want to go to, you know, and the, the most important thing is uh, beyond affordability, and first of all, you tackle affordability, uh, because many families go into uh, 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 financial loss, some of them into extreme poverty, uh, uh, many Kenyans are calling for Arambes, many of our insurance cards are just plastics, they are not useful for us, the, so that's affordability, so that has to be sorted out, but beyond affordability, we also have to look at access, first access to service in terms of distance um, and then access to the person that is offering that service and that's the healthcare worker yeah. and um, I think uh, what
what we are trying to uh, uh, get in the discussions, uh, in my own opinion, are not going to achieve universal health coverage. Um, I, I think that this uh, agenda is being hijacked by uh, commercial interests, uh, which also is not very good for people, because every organization is just interested in their or, uh, you know, the agenda that they are pushing. Yes. So I think um, one of the things, the reason why I like Makweni County to be specific is that uh, the, their UHC model, number one, is that they started. Yeah. Number two is that it's public driven. Yeah. So um, they are, the, the people are paying and then they are getting services in public hospitals. Yes. So then it has to have that component. But then the, the thing that they also have to do, like the rest of the country, is then to provide um, uh, the same people with doctors. Because uh, in this hospital of water, they only have seven medical officers, 12 specialists. And those 12 specialists are for the whole county. So if you look at outreach for a population of one million, um, um, uh, the, 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 count, the county still has quite a bit of steps to, to cover. And I think uh, my recommendation to, to Makweni County and to all the counties is that we have to uh, uh, walk the talk. And walking the talk means that once uh, people have that card that they can come to the hospital, that they also get a doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, these doctors they are overworked. Uh, I went to the hospital yesterday. Uh, when you are seven of you only um, and one is away, then the six there you find that you are working almost 168 hours a week. So if we were to implement the CBA, which McQueen is part of and like all the governors are part of, 40 hours a week, and that is what we are going to do beginning 1st of July in the whole country. All doctors will have to work fast, 40 hours a week only. So that because then the doctors have been nice to be covering, but I think then the government is just playing games. Yeah, and I think we are no longer going to be having games being played. We are supporting universal health coverage. We are supporting the president's agenda. We want to be champions and ambassadors of universal health coverage, but we are not going to accept that doctors are not being employed, nurses are not being employed. So part of universal health coverage is to improve access to doctors, and those doctors must be employed. And now we have 1,000 of them out there that must be employed, and we, ha we need nurses that also need to add to that number so that patients don't suffer in hospital. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you. That is Secretary General for Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union, Ouma Oluga. Uh, but uh, for now, I think I'll come back to you in studio, and then later on, perhaps we can weigh in more on this debate, because I'm made to understand even there is one doctor who was overwhelmed here in Makweni Hospital, and he had to, to leave, because again, even as we are... We, uh, we are we, we try to achieve this universal health care. Sometimes probably the doctors are, are overwhelmed. You can imagine one million population and only seven doctors and 12 specialists. So for now, Yusuf Ibrahim, I take you back to studio.